ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಅಗಜಾನನ ಪದ್ಮಾರ್ಕ ಗಜಾನನ ಅಹರ್ನಿಶಂ ಅನೇಕ ದಂ ತಂ ಭಕ್ತ ಏಕದಂತ ವಾಸ್ಮಹಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಣೇಶ ಪುರಾಣ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಸೂತ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಶೌನಕಾಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ and inside the story it is the brigu who is explaining this story to soma king soma kanta and now the sage said that mr sasuta he explained until vishnu gets up you know in the previous chapter we have seen that in the beginning of the creation when as the brahma started doing the creation vishnu was sleeping at that time and from his ears created two demons called as madhu and kaitabha and they start they are uh, started harassing brahma and they told him that they will going to kill him not just that until vishnu gets up these two will overrun the heavens and the residences of indra yama and kubera these are the different people who are responsible for taking care of the heaven the indra and yama he is responsible for taking care of the hell and kubera he is the cashier for the entire the clan of gods and goddesses the gods just wanted to free anyway after they had seen those two and some of them tottered and fell others fainted and stumbled then the goddess sleep released lord vishnu and after he had aroused up all the gods he fought with those two in order to prevent their overrun of all the gods this basically the goddess said woke up vishnu and he started fighting with those two demons the snakes led by shesha the sages yakshas and rakshasas that means all clan of people joined vishnu and they supported vishnu in order to kill these demons vishnu looks and it he was holding his club his discus and his conch so those were his those were the things which he was holding in his hand he wore earrings and a diadem and his thick skin was like a dark cloud the very color of vishnu is basically a little dark in nature the illustrious vishnu then blew his conch in order to announce that he will going to fight against those demons that begin the fight in the beginning people do blow the conch with great vigor and caused heaven and earth to shake because of the sound of the conch which was called as panchajanya on hearing the sound of panchajanya the conch in the hands of vishnu their heart was pierced and terrified with the fear of it that means those those two were those two demons their heart was pierced and terrified with the fear of that conch the sound of conch they then said to one another we completely overrun the earth the underworld and the 21 heavens but we had not then heard that sound which has made our adamantine hearts tremble we have so far never heard this sound of the conch what is this sound and this is causing our hearts to tremble hence we will have to fight with this very powerful man because he is making our heart to tremble with fear so we need to fight with this powerful man for victory or defeat in order to bring him bring an end to our each war battle because they were struggling they were looking out everywhere for someone to fight with but nobody was ready to fight with by seeing their very size people ran away from the battlefield so they were looking for someone to fight with and they find a very powerful man who is now blowing the conch we will kill this enemy or we will going to die having made this resolve and eager for battle they both said to vishnu you have appeared great o vishnu supreme person in order to bring an end to our itch for battle we were struggling we were waiting we were very much eager to have a fight with somebody and we got a very powerful man to fight with us 
But how will you obtain supremacy over us if we can see you? We are seeing you. You are not that big compared to us. How you can achieve supremacy? The sage explaining this story, he said, After he had heard this their speech and far-famed Vishnu, he spoke. Hari said, Well said, O great demons, fight with me. Come on. If you wish, for nobody looks for his own death. Those two said, You have four arms, O Lord of the Gods. So give us an arm wrestle. We wanted to have an arm wrestling with you. Vishnu gladly said, Okay, yes, after they had addressed him in this way. Having left his weapons aside, he fought them only with his four arms. It's an arm wrestling. They struck his head with their foreheads and his shanks with their shanks, his elbows with their own elbows and his arms with their arms, his ankles with their ankles, his buttocks with their butts and his nose with their nose, his fist with their fist. And they Attack the, his back with their back, and their arms were tearing apart and shaking in circles. In this way, the fight between them continued for a long, long time. As according to the Ganesha Purana, it went on for 5,000 years. It passed. However, the imperishable Hari was unable, the Hari means the Vishnu. He was unable to defeat those two people. So he took the form of a heavenly musician. He just disappeared from the battlefield because he could not able to defeat them. He took the form of a heavenly musician who was skilled in music. And going into the forest, he made the sweet note of a lute and deer. Wild bees, humans, gods, heavenly musicians and Rakshasa became a utterly engrossed with it and they all left their respective activities hearing the heavenly songs sung by Vishnu in the form of a heavenly musician. Shiva, the lord of the mountains, he was residing in Kailasa, heard his note when he was sitting on Mount Kailasa, straight away from Shiva, the destroyer of Bhagas eyes. He said, to Nikumba, one of his gana, one of his follower, he told to Nikumba and Pushpadanta, someone is singing in the forest with a heavenly voice. Bring him to me quickly. After they had left and caught sight of him, they said to him, they said to both of them, Pushpadanta and the Nikumba, they told to Vishnu, who is in the form of a heavenly singer, Shiva has heard the sound of your singing and he is very much thrilled. O oh, faultless one, the God, Supreme God, Shiva, he summons you to sing in his presence. So please leave quickly with us and we will take you to him. When he had heard their speech, the heavenly musician who was devoted to Hara, the Shiva, Vishnu who was devoted to Shiva, went with them and where the god Maheshwara was located, he saw Parvati's husband wearing a diadem shape as a half moon, a garment of elephant, the tiger skins and the ornamented with a garland of headless bodies, with his yellowish braided hair and a snake as his scared cord. He was resplendent his decoration of Shiva. He bowed, to the, he bowed to the ground before the Lord of everything and one who destroys the pains of those who are obeisant to him. Then helping him up with his own hand it means Shiva helped Vishnu to get up. After bowing down to Shiva, the mountain dweller offered Vishnu born from under an axle a seat, I mean, he offered seat for Vishnu to sit next to him and he honored him. Because Hari could not able to, the Vishnu could not able to defeat the Madhu and Kaitabha, 
so he was in need of a help so he went to shiva for the help then hari said my life has now become fruitful because this vision of you because i could able to see you my life has become fruitful and that gives me accomplishment in the law sensuality power and liberation have occurred and with lute like sounds soft stanzas and a variety of melodies the heavenly musician vishnu satisfied shiva who was so engrossed with his singing and he also satisfied skanda and ganesha who were the children of shiva goddess parvati who was the consort and she is the wife of shiva the gods and all the sages who were sitting there then we delight shiva publicly embraced hari vishnu and he said to the auspicious god clothed in yellow and beholding a lotus mace discuss in a club hari ask of me all your desires what do you desire for please ask i will give them since i have attained the highest happiness because of your singing Bhrigu, who was telling this story, continues. Hari then told him about the previous course of events that happened, that the two demons were created from his ears, and he could not able to defeat both the demons. They are creating a havoc for this whole world. Hari continued. Whilst I was asleep on the ocean of milk, Madhu and Kaitaba arose from my ear, secre ear secretions. and came to eat and they went on to eat brahma brahma eulogize eulogize sleep splend o oh splendid shiva and it is the sleep goddess who awakened me i then engaged in battle with those two and a wrestling match ensued we fought for thousand years i was unable to conquer both of them so i did this so i took the form of a heavenly singer and i came here singing to please you now shiva repository of compassion tell me the way i can kill them and then shiva said to him you went to the battle ground without having worshiped vinayaka you remember in the past in the beginning of this story vasa was drowned in the ocean of confusion in the beginning of when he was in the beginning when he was creating the puranas that's because he forgot to worship vinayaka gajanana same thing happened with brahma who went into creation without worshiping gajanana and the same thing now happened to vishnu who went into battle with madhu and kaitaba without worshiping vinayaka and so you had no strength consequently you have got real problems now worship ganesha and set out for battle respectable god with his power with the power of gajanana ganesha power of illusion he will delude you delude those two and through my favor you will kill those two malevolence there is no doubt of it and again going by the scientific aspect of it till that time vishnu was sleeping soon after he wake up he just went into a battle with them with over confidence that he could able to kill them but it doesn't he was not knowing anything about their strength he was not knowing the strength and weaknesses of those two demons because only with that he could able to fight with them and for that he required the knowledge and to get the knowledge he need to get the information from others and he need to know how they were created and what is their strengths weakness all this thing and unless we do some such kind of a swot analysis we will not be able to succeed in any project then it is that aspect is what is being told in this purana as you need to worship gajanana in the beginning because you need to do a lot of study before working getting into any particular work whether it is a creation of the world or whether it is killing of the demons or whether it is the writing of puranas you need to first plan upon that particular project and in the previous chapters we discussed what gajanana is what gajanana symbolizes symbolizes about what we need to do in that the creation at the beginning of every new activity 
Hari then said, O Shiva, tell me how I should worship that god Vinayaka. Ishwara then said, Seven myriads of Ganesha mantras have been recited. Even amongst them there are great mantras and amongst them too there, are, there is a great one syllable mantra and a sixth syllable one. O illustrious Vishnu, I am going to tell you about one of those two. Then, having set aside the one syllable mantra in consideration of the power of his discus and the Siddha, Siddhari mantra, and that means the say, that single syllable mantra, having paid out a monetary debt, he told him that great six syllable mantra of Ganesha, which is auspicious and grants every success. Merely by performing it, your task will be successful. Then Vishnu left quickly to perform with those two mantras. So he, he was given with either the single syllable mantra, as I told you before, gum, or the six syllable mantra, Vaktatundayahum. This is a six syllable mantra. Please don't perform that. I, this is just for your information's sake. So, Vishnu took both the mantras and he went on to perform with those mantras. And with these, you can see that there are two more testimonials. But later, we see the success of Vishnu only after he worshipped Gajanana. Same thing, it's for Brahma, only after worship of Gajanana, he could able to succeed in doing the creation. And these information is given to Vyasa as a testimonial that with the help of this mantra, he will also, Vyasa will also be able to create the Puranas. Thus ends the 17th chapter of Upasana Kanda of the glorious Ganesha Purana in which Vishnu went to Shiva and got the relief for killing those two demons. Namaste Sharada Devi, Kashmir Puravasini, Tvamaham Prarthaye Nityam, Vidya Dhananchadehime. Goodbye.